this is what our flying cloud looks like now, after Vinny's correction, but that's not what it looked like before. in the tongue as well that was hard to see in the LCD screen yeah but I saw the shell Move. doing a kind of a boogie yeah <laughs> imagine what it's like on the highway oh that's just me you can see the need for so some more additional support in this area yeah after watching how much movement is evident just by you know shaking the frame we've lost these are all this is all talking to you yeah you start losing these rivets here it's starting to tell a story yeah uh, and this crack, you can see where the line was, where the sealant is here and the sealant is here. The panel's actually slipped upwards. There's, there's something going on here. We won't know the whole story until we pull the front skin off, and, uh, and we will. This is the area that's always typically affected, but, you know, we have separation right here where this trim piece is. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's lots to address. But you can see where the line originally was. This whole panel is shifted up. This panel is screwed oh, yeah. in place. So, I mean, there's, and they're at two different heights. Heights. You can see where the sealant was here, and the sealant's almost a quarter of an inch higher. Wow. Oh my gosh. It's like the front bulkhead is holding the whole thing together. You can see what's happening here, okay? So it's actually <clears throat> taken the skin of this front panel and it's pulled the C-channel below it and pushed the skin on the other side. Yeah. Okay. So before we do that, I'm gonna let it go. I want you guys to pull these out. So there was a rivet there at one point, and this is how much the skin and the shell was moving. That's a half inch almost, yeah. would you say? Mm -hmm. So it just completely wore a path as the shell is moving, uh, as the frame is corpusing, going down the road. 